How do you research the industry and how much time do you spend on it? I feel like the best way to research you know, the industry or that you want to work in film is by meeting people in the industry, getting to know the people, because that's really what it comes down to is the people in the industry and the people that you meet and the friendships that you make. Uh, trying to read a book about how it is to be a writer or a director or a filmmaker is never going to really give you that sort of visceral right there kind of experience of what it is. And, you know, you can do it as much research as you want. You can listen to other people and talk to them and, 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 and do it. But once you actually kind of make those relationships, start doing it, that's when it'll start to crystallize. And you're like, oh, that one thing I heard that this filmmaker used to always say about, you know, shooting these kind of films or these kind of experiences, it finally starts crystallizing for you. So that's the best way. And it's really the only way to do it. When you wake up in the morning, are you like going to the trades online and, and box office mojo or whatever, and just trying to see what's hot, keep a pulse on things? Or is that something you're too busy because you're preparing for production or editing, whatever? I think there is that sort of balance where you do want to keep the pulse on what's going on, right? You want to know, you know, the world we're living in and, and, and what's going and what's happening. But I think one of the, th the pitfalls of being in the industry is we have this little bubble that we're in. So everyone in Hollywood thinks they know what the rest of the world wants, right? But if they're living in this little bubble, they don't realize that, no, there's people in middle America or all over the country or all over the world that, that really don't care what this little bubble has to say or has to do. So I think it's good to stay in to know what's happening in the industry, but at the same time, you have to broaden your horizons and it's much more important to know what the world is doing, what's going on outside of Hollywood or LA and California and Los Angeles so that the stories that we tell and the movies that we make and the content that we make resonates with the people that we want it to, right? Is there a way to do that now without becoming too controversial or political? Is there a way to tell a universal story? Yeah, I, I feel like stories, no matter what they are, they're, as long as you're tapping into those sort of universal themes, the hero's journey and those thematic elements that all cultures and civilizations and peoples deal with on a daily basis, the stories will resonate, right? You don't need to find what new Twitter trend is causing controversy. Be like, oh, let's make a story about this <laughs> controversial Twitter trend, right? Those things are, date really fast. They're, they're things that date quickly and people want stories that they can kind of universally go to and you know, what does it mean to be, um, you know, a girl that becomes a woman going through that adolescence? Or what does it mean to be a father and teach his son? Or, you know, these sort of like universal stories of humanity that we've had for thousands of years. Those haven't changed, right? So as long as your stories are dealing with those sort of elements, people will latch on to them and they will resonate with them.